Welcome back, M. Eppers. Today, today's the day. What's today the day for? Well, you probably guessed if you uh, looked at the picture at all in the thumbnail, but today is the day for the maiden voyage of this dude right here at a beautiful little lake right here. Honestly, it's, it's not even a big enough lake to need a boat on, but since I need to try it out, I haven't even put this guy in the water yet, so hopefully it floats. It's gonna be quite an adventure today, especially considering it's like 40 degrees outside, so uh, try not to wake up any campers here this morning. Let's get this dude in the water. All right, just got in the uh, the old boat, still waiting to get all my gear put in, but uh, not the most stable boat, that's for sure. I think maybe I'm just used to my bass boat. Need to get my sea legs under me a little bit, but uh, not a bad little rig. Not hating it so far. Definitely a little sketchy. We're gonna get some weight put in the back though with the trolling motor battery and everything. I think that's gonna even it out a little bit. All right, time to do this. Water actually looks somewhat clean-ish underneath there. Cleaner than the river was yesterday anyways. Yeah, this is, uh, this is different. This is definitely different than my bass boat. A little bit less stable, that's for sure. This is my, uh, high-tech trolling motor cord. I know a lot of you guys have seen the uh, the G-Force handle that uh, G-Man came out with. This is the uh, the mf or handle trademark. All right, we're going. We're in the lake. Kind of a uh, little wobbly here, but I think that's just gonna have to be something we get used to. Boat doesn't appear to be filling up with water, so that's a plus. Trolling motor is plenty of motor for this little lake fish are jumping and we haven't sunk yet you can see I have yet to get the uh, the cables lengthened uh, to get the battery all the way back to the compartment and I use the high-tech duct tape to get the wiring back there right now but uh we'll go back there bilge pumps hooked up on a switch ready to rock and roll should we need it doesn't look like we're taking on any water though so that's a plus all right so we're out here in the middle of this little lake right here which I have fished many times on my channel from the bank though, never fished it from a boat because you don't really need a boat to fish it. But I think I'm gonna get flipping here. There's some, some brush piles. I kinda wanna see if there's fish to be caught on those. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything to measure water temperature. Should've brought the deeper along with me. Fortunately, I did not. But I got a good feeling it might be a jerkin stick day with the jerk bait. But for now we're gonna start. Oh yeah, it's not very clean water. I'm gonna start flipping some of these brush piles out here and see if that does anything for us. All right, flipping bait was a no-go, so tied on Mr. Old Jerkin Stick. Let's see if that can do the trick. I really wish this water was about seven feet cleaner, but uh, just gotta do with what you're given, I suppose. Jerk bait is an awesome tool whenever the water is really, really cold. Apparently it is uh, cold and muddy, which is never a good thing, but I picked a bone color because the water is off color. We got clouds out today, so uh, bone is generally something real bright is the way to go because it's hard for them to really see that in the water with these low light conditions. I either go bright white, chartreuse, or like a deadly black color, like a uh, real dark blackish gold color or something like that. I've been fishing for about an hour now in the uh, the little John, and I didn't really give you guys a background of what I'm doing today, but out at a little area that I fished from the bank a bunch, it's got like five or six little lakes like this one. I think this is the biggest one actually. Just gonna kind of fish around, see if we can catch a couple fish. You know, the conditions are, are pretty brutal. It's cold outside, water's cold, water's pretty muddy, off-colored, but there are some slaunches in here. Only got a couple hours to get out today, but I just wanna get out, make sure this dude uh, floats, uh, is stable, is good to fish out of. So far, it's not the most stable boat, um, but everything else is uh, rock solid with it. I've been kind of fishing a jerk bait, flipping around a little bit, but I think maybe the fish are uh, maybe like hugging tight to the bottom, out in the middle not moving around too much. So I think I'm gonna put a heavier weight on, heavier Texas rig with like a black and blue craw bait and kind of just work it real slow on the bottom and maybe pull a spinner bait too. There are a bunch of shad in here along with bluegill and there, like I said, there's some really big bass in here. So 
So I'm gonna slow down a little bit, fish the bottom a little bit more, and see if that is the deal. All right, there it is, folks. Half ounce sinker, so I can keep it down the bottom, and a black and blue craw. Let's see if that does the trick. All right, no go on anything so far. Time to try the old slow rolling, the spinner bait trick. There we go. Ooh. All right, first fish of the day, finally. First fish in the new baby boat on a spinnerbait. Yep. Just a little guy. Let's get a bigger one. All right, bite has been uh, pretty damn tough so far. We only got about 45 minutes left to the today and only caught that one on the spinnerbait on a grass line. I think they might be holding kind of tight to the bottom. Really been kicking myself that I didn't have my lipless crankbaits with me. I kind of got in a hurry when I left this morning and didn't throw them in. One thing I like to do when the water's really, really cold like this and some color to it is just kind of yo-yo that off the bottom. But I just remembered I had this blade bait in my truck, which is kind of similar. You can fish in a little bit similar fashion. It's a bait I kind of want to start throwing a little bit more, learning a little bit better, so I can actually catch some fish in these videos for you guys in the waters in the 40s. But uh, yeah, just tied this guy on. Let's uh, let's see if it works. I'm gonna kind of just yo-yo it up off the bottom and cover some water with it. I think that's gonna be the ticket, especially because there's a lot of shad in this lake. They don't seem to want to come up and eat a jerk bait. And at the same time, they don't really want to go down and eat anything off the bottom, it seems like. So uh, we'll kind of fish this up a foot or two off the bottom, just kind of pumping the rod tip and see if that does the trick. I know my buddy, Eric Lewinsky, the intern on Ike Live, and Ike, just talked to them, and um, he's been catching a lot on blade baits lately, so I kind of got the rundown from him. So uh, hopefully the YouTube taught me how to how to fish this dude properly. I feel like I'm back with Brian fishing for wipers down in Kansas throwing this thing. I kind of wish I had my jigging wraps right now too. I'll be more prepared next time. Today definitely was not my finest morning getting ready. But uh, hey, we're on the board, caught a fish in the new boat. Didn't fall in the lake yet. It's bound to happen any minute though. And we're throwing a blade bait in 40 some degree water. Well, that is a wrap folks. Definitely not a solid productive day on the water, but hey, got the little boat out and it didn't sink i didn't fall in the lake so we did avert some some major crises and we got the skunk out of the boat the all-time skunk for me anyways out of the little boat just a small fish you know the water is crazy crazy cold right now i'm gonna have to mix some things up i don't know if i'm gonna have to travel down somewhere in the south or, or what i can do this month until we get some ice on the lakes but uh Fishing's crazy tough right now. But something else I wanna to talk to you guys about, I have narrowed it down to two names for the boat. And I want you guys to pick between the two names. I've narrowed it down between the Slaunch Hunter and the Slaunch Slayer. I know very, very similar, but it's gonna be one of those two names. And I know a lot of people said both those names, they recommended both those names. But the way we're going to do this is go on over to my Instagram page on my Instagram story. You can run a poll now. So I'm gonna do a poll between the two, run it for 24 hours starting right now for you guys to go check out and whoever wins i'm going to go back to that post i know a lot of people recommended those two names i'm going to go back through and pull a random person if there's three people that said slant slayer or whatever then i'll pick randomly between one of those three and uh, that person will win the prize pack of the custom baits now don't don't just go over to that video and comment slant slayer slant hunter because i already went through saw what people said what so i got the names already written down those are the two finalists though go over to my instagram story once again at melican fishing on instagram to check those out one other thing i want to let you guys know you still have a chance to go win some sick new melican fishing apparel I'm gonna leave a link right up there. Click on that card up there. It'll take you to that video and tell you how you can enter. Basically, all you gotta do is comment down below on that video your favorite type of new Melican fishing apparel. If I pick your name, you win that. I'll be doing that drawing in a couple days here. But yeah, I just kinda wanted to get out fishing the new boat, the new little boat, 
and uh, make sure everything is running properly before we take it to some better lakes and we'll definitely be taking it somewhere better next time i don't know what's up with this lake at least we caught one but thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video taking time out of your day to uh to watch this and watch me not catch any fish next time i can promise you we're gonna get after them a lot better but i'm out of here for now peace